be slowing, but as demand for power continues to grow, its sole nuclear plant is already expanding and has ramped up security measures. Lucretia Franco has that story. South America's biggest nuclear plant stands in a tropical paradise, Angra dos Reis. The two nuclear reactors in operation, Angra 1 and Angra 2, are surrounded by hills, and frequent rain is a big worry. But security improvements have been stepped up after Japan's Fukushima disaster. In case of a landslide and loss of electricity, we are installing portable electric generators to cool the plant and avoid the overheating that caused the meltdowns of the reactors at Fukushima. A third reactor, Angra 3, is under construction and will double the site's output. The new reactor worth 6 billion US dollars is set to go online in 2018, and Brazil is planning to build four other new nuclear plants in that same time period. We will need equipment for the plants and the countries we are considering are France, the United States, Japan, China and South Korea that are the world suppliers. However, private investors' participation could take part only in some stages of the construction due to Brazil's constitution which states nuclear production has to be controlled by state-owned company Eletronuclear. Currently, 85% of the electricity consumed in Brazil is generated by hydroelectric plants. However, experts here say that by 2050, demand for power could have tripled and nuclear energy will be key to filling the gap. Brazil has the world's sixth largest uranium reserves and thermonuclear power could help relieve the country's energy demands. Though feared worldwide, officials say the country's nuclear technology is cheap, clean, and has never been safer. Lucrecia Franco, CCTV, Angra dos Reis, Rio de Janeiro.